Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here, please take a second, hit that subscribe button, don't miss out on any of the vlogs, any of the reviews that I've got coming out on a weekly basis. And if you've tried this app before, please let me know in the comments below what you thought. I've done a review on this before. It was requested that I do it again because a lot has changed since then. I think it was my first ever video on YouTube. The app has developed quite a lot. It was back then it was called Lev Golf, I think. It's now Shot Vision. So this is all about the Shot Vision launch monitor app. So without pointing out the absolute obvious, what this app claims to be is a launch monitor. It turns your phone into a launch monitor. If it actually works, it could be massive. And I would argue that most golfers would probably want it on their phone. But that's if it works. So before I get into the whole review, I think I should probably caveat this video and remind you that this is just an app on your phone. It can be free as well. So there is a free version of this app. You don't get as much data from it, but you can get a free version. And the premium version isn't exactly breaking the bank in terms of how much it costs. But at the end of the day, it is just an app. This is just taking the technology which is already in your phone and trying to convert it and make it into a launch monitor. So just bear that in mind a little bit as we go through as we go through the whole video. And even when you're using it, just try and remember that. Okay, so probably a sensible place to start is how it works. So it works by using the slow motion video capture on your phone. So that function that your phone already has and captures the ball flight as you're hitting the ball which then translates into a load of calculations and algorithms going on within the app to give you the feedback and give you the data on the ball that you've just hit. Setting up the app itself is really easy. All you need to do is get a, a little tripod or something to prop up your phone, select your club, the screen will go green when it's ready, and then you just go. So I've been using this for the last five months, I suppose, and I initially started with the free version, but to be completely honest, it doesn't really give you enough data for it to be usable. Um, it gives you, I think it's ball speed, spin rate, and club head speed, which, I mean, they're interesting numbers to know, but in reality, <laughs> I don't really care. From an amateur, amateur golfer point of view, all I'm thinking about, all I want to know is my carry distance. Yes, my spin rate's useful, and then my total distance. So I quickly jumped up to the premium subscription which is £6.99 a month. You know, it's not cheap, it's not free, but it's not exactly breaking the bank. You know, it's two coffees. Well, I mean, some places it could be one coffee. So it's not hugely expensive. That's kind of the point I'm getting at here. When you look at probably the next option in line, it might be something like the Garmin G80 um, or the Flightscope Mevo. And both of those are around the £500 mark. But also bear in mind that you don't have to use it all the time, so you can have it for, you know, like the winter maybe. The winter's coming up in the UK, and this could be really useful through that, <laughs> I'd like to say four months, but let's face it, it'll probably be six, seven, maybe even eight. It'll be really useful for that winter time. So you could just pay for those months, and then not have to worry about it for the rest of the year. So when I first got it, I was trying to use it in my back garden, hitting into a net, which, to be completely honest, just wasn't working. The grass, I did find it was it was really struggling to pick up the ball as hitting it off grass. It wasn't, I mean, the grass was pretty long, so I kind of, I can, I can appreciate that, I can get that, but the feedback I was getting was absolutely abysmal. The numbers were completely off, and it, I almost gave up on it at that point, but I didn't. I kept using it, and after a period of time, when I was able to go back to driving range, I used it at the driving range for a bit. And I wasn't doing anything with it, I was just hitting balls, not recording any scores. So you can actually see it records each session and you can go back through each session and see how it all went. So you can kind of see how the first session, which I think was in the garden, how badly that went. I mean, I was using a six iron, four iron, and the numbers were just completely off. Then I was able to try it down at my local driving range when they all eventually opened back up. So the balls I was using at that range are 70% balls. So in theory, they're only going to fly 
you know, 70% of my actual distance. So on reflection, I did think that maybe those numbers weren't completely off. Initially when I was looking at it, I was hitting pitching wedges, you know, 90 yards, 95 yards, and I was just like, no, this is completely wrong. But in hindsight, it probably was about right. So then recently I've been going to the driving range more locally, which has proper balls, which gave me the chance to get proper feedback on it. I went down and did a big session um, with the intent of kind of really putting it through its paces. I only took a half set with me, but in that half set, I decided to do a gapping. I hadn't done that yet, but I had the opportunity to use proper balls and I had the chance to go through you know, my full half set and see what the numbers came out at. So going to the range to do this gapping with the Shot Vision app, bearing in mind I've had a proper professional fit before and when I got my clubs, we did proper gapping. So I do have a fairly good idea for what my numbers should be. So I didn't take my full bag with me when I did the gapping with the app, but I did have my 56, my pitching wedge, eight iron, six iron, four iron, three wood and driver, which are kind of the most used clubs in my bag anyway. So when I did the gapping, I, the intention was to do six shots with each club and just say, that's it. That's, you know, take the good and the bad and see what it comes out at. So you can see that the numbers I was getting from the gapping were actually not far off what I was expecting to get. Obviously, they're all subject to the way I was hitting it as well, so some of the shots were pretty poor and they were reflecting that it was a bad shot. I did, however, have a couple of issues with the driver and the three wood. I think maybe the setup I had it at was wrong because it definitely didn't pick up some of the shots, whether it was my fault or whether it just, it was the app failing. I definitely hit more than six shots with each, but it only registered four. Had the same issue with the 56 degree in that it wasn't registering all my shots. You do need to be careful when you're using this with clubs with a higher launch angle and it's probably the same goes for clubs with lower launch angle. You just need to move the ball position around to make sure that it's still being tracked. But from that session and sessions that I've had previously, I, it just does seem to work a little bit. It's not perfect. It, I must stress that it is not perfect. And what works for one person, so even though it might work for me, it might not work for someone else. I mean, when I reviewed it originally, it was all over the place. You know, I think I said in the video that, you know, if it's getting it right 70% of the time, then that's good. But I don't think that's the case anymore. I do think it's getting it right much more than that. Bear in mind that I have upgraded my phone since then. So back then I was on an iPhone 7, camera was good, but you know, a little bit iffy. I'm now on an iPhone 11, camera is way better. So that might play a factor. So the better the phone you have, the more chance you have of getting good feedback and getting correct data. One of the things I did notice was the spin rates were a little bit questionable. And the problem with that is once you call into question the accuracy of one number, you kind of, you have to call into the question the accuracy of all of the numbers. And I don't know, I just, I feel like some of the spin rates, especially with the lower irons, my eight iron, my, my pitching wedge, even though I am quite a high spin player, I don't think they were quite right. And at the same time, things like my swing speeds, the swing speeds all the way through the bag did not add up properly. I mean, I think it was again, my eight iron, some of those swings were coming out at something like 90 miles an hour or 90 plus miles an hour, which, I mean, I'm a big guy. I can swing the club hard when I want to, but I mean, that's, that's beyond, that's up into, you know, tour pro levels. I'm not a tour pro. So since I last reviewed it, the app itself was kind of, it's come on leaps and bounds in terms of not just its accuracy, from my perspective, but also in terms of its functionality. Now, firstly, there are these kind of different, like they're almost side games that you can do. You can take part in things like long drive competitions, accuracy competitions. You can do a skills challenge, which I haven't actually done, 
but I guess it's a bit like the FSX skills challenge. It makes the whole app a little bit more, well, a lot more usable really. These competitions are run worldwide, so anyone who is using the app can enter them, which that's quite fun. That's quite interesting. And again, the problem is it all comes back to how accurate it is. If it's not accurate, then <laughs> the game itself, the challenge is completely moot. Having said all of that, I do recommend that you give it a try. At the end of the day, it's a free app. It's not gonna cost you anything to download. As long as you have a phone which is compatible, then you'll get a good idea for whether or not it's accurate. And at the same time, you know, if you want to try it for a month on premium, you can cancel your subscription at the end of the month. And yeah, you may have wasted seven pounds, but you also may have found a tool which, like I say, will transform the way you practice. From what I've found and the features that it has, I do think it is really usable. I think it's, I, I really want to say it is pretty accurate. Um, I'm sure people will disagree with me but that's what I've found so far. Maybe my problem is I'm an optimist and I want this app to work. So I'm seeing the best in it. I've also noticed that there are issues with it. There's no two ways about that. There are issues. The spin rate, the club head speed, the numbers that I'm getting from some of those shots don't quite add up. And unfortunately that does make me question the whole app in its entirety. But, the majority of the shots that I hit were, dare I say it, they were pretty, pretty accurate. So there we have it. Really fascinating little app. One that I'm going to continue to use because I do feel, like I say, like it is working. I don't know whether everyone else will have that kind of same experience, but it is worth trying. I do really think if you're on the fence or you're interested in it, worth trying, even the free version, see how you get on with that. And then make a judgment call. Right guys, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and also please do let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this before, what your feedback is on it, because at the end of the day, it's gonna be really useful for everyone else to know as well. Because this is just my feedback, you know, from my experience. Other people will have different experiences. I think that's just the nature of apps like this. Sometimes they work for some people, sometimes they don't, you know. That is the harsh reality. And maybe I'm the fortunate one. Maybe I'm in that lucky camp. I'll stop talking now. Thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.